Hello there, and welcome to my channel if you're new, and welcome back if you're back. Um, my name is Rabbit, and my pronouns are they, them. Um, so I'm here today because I wanted to do like a Halloween kind of October sort of lookbook because it is October 1st, I think today or tomorrow. It's October 1st tomorrow, and I'm super, super excited because fall is like my favorite time of year. Halloween is my favorite time of year, and I really like spooky clothing and stuff. So um, this is just gonna be like a little lookbook, um, probably filmed throughout the week. Um, so I guess let's get into it. This is the first outfit. Um, I'm not really, it's my day off from work today, so I'm gonna go to Ikea and get some bookshelves for um, my doll and craft room so I can like put my dolls up. And I'm gonna get some groceries and just kind of run some errands. So this is a pretty like chill, casual look. Lots of orange stuff. So up top um, as my scrunchie, I have um, this little one that has like bats and black cats and ghosts. And my hair is really needing to be re-dyed. So like ignore that, but whatever. Um, I did my makeup in kind of orange, but I think it's kind of showing up more red on camera. And when I go out, I just don't do makeup on the bottom half of my face because I'm wearing a mask anyway, so what's the point? Um, so that's why it's just kind of normal skin down there. Um, my necklace, this is a choker from AliExpress with a bat on it. Looney Tunes. My baby is chatting with me. Hi. For earrings, I have these swords um, that belong to Cage. Um, these little jack-o'-lanterns. And then in my third earring hole, I have um, this bat one. This was a set. Junie, come here. Um, so the jack-o'-lantern and the bat were from a set um, from Claire's last year that I got and probably showed in my Halloween haul. Um, I'm wearing a little possum necklace as well. Um, I found this at the thrift store this year. Um, for rings, I've got this like onyx, kind of a silver swirl. These two both have snakes. This one has like a gem in it. Um, I'm wearing a white button down shirt underneath um, my hood or like underneath my sweater and underneath that I just have like a tank top. Um, this sweater I'm obsessed with. I got it on Etsy um, and it just had the black cat on it um, and I'm very clumsy so pretty much like immediately I got candle wax, candle wax on it and I had to um, patch over it so that's what this was from and then while I was patching over it um, I think Cage had a pizza bagel on the counter where I was sewing and um, Toonie so Cage had a bagel where I was sewing and I didn't realize and then I got like a massive grease stain on both sides. So I ended up just using a bunch of Halloween fabric from Fabricland and putting patches all over it. Lots of them have kind of like a farmhouse field. This one's one of my favorite. It has like a pumpkin driving a pickup truck. I think that's so funny. Um, and it has the big black cat and this like trick or treat. Um, the cor candy corn ones were from the dollar store. And um, I have a black and white one with like skeleton animals that glows in the dark. So that's what this sweater is looking like. I'm really, really happy with how it turned out. And then um, for bottoms, let me just readjust the camera. I have um, just a black and white thrifted skirt um, from the thrift store. It's plaid. Um, I secured it with this like little pin that has angels and stuff on it and I just sewed a bunch of random patches on it um then I'm wearing some leggings because it's pretty cold out and then these very old lacy socks um that I think my mom got me for Christmas a couple of years ago they're like black with white lace at the top and then I have a pair of orange and black bat socks and then my new socks from Spirit Halloween with their little scaredy cat on them and I'm probably just gonna pair the whole outfit with a pair of Doc Martens when I go out, and then my mask, and then my purse that I always use. Um, it's actually like falling apart a little bit, so I need to get a replacement from Spirit Halloween soon. Um, so yeah, that's the first part of this video. Halloween lookbook for September 30th, that was today. Um, see you in the next one, thanks for watching. Hello friends! Um, so it's October 2nd, Halloween day two. Um, yesterday was October 1st and it was pretty chill. I just had work and I worked in the morning and then I got to pick up another shelf for my doll um, craft room thing. Oh, it's so exciting. Okay, but that's not what we're here for. We're here for the outfit today. So um, starting from head to toe, 
Um, I'm wearing the same scrunchie as yesterday, just like that orange and black one with like the ghosts and things. But today I've added some hair clips. Um, this one's a ghost. I got all of these from Claire's. Um, I also have like um, bat wings, like sparkly bat wings, and this orange one with black bats on it. I got this last year um, like in a set that I got from Claire's. My earrings today are these like bird skulls with hearts and little crosses. I got them off AliExpress recently. Uh, same with this necklace was from AliExpress. And this one was thrifted from a while ago, from a while ago. It's the, it's the Wheel of Fortune tarot card. Um, and then for my top, I am wearing this little thrifted kind of crop top that's a, like kind of a reddish blue and yellow plaid. I really like it because it feels very autumn-y. But my favorite thing about my outfit today, I think, is this sweater. I feel like I don't wear it enough as much as I should because I'm not that much of a cardigan person. Let me angle this down so you guys can see. It's just this like really vintagey feeling, like kind of soft, really slouchy autumn sweater. So the back is just like all the same pattern all around. And I got it at the thrift store like many years ago, probably when I was like 15 or 16. And I just love to wear it every autumn, but I feel like I should wear it year round more. But I'm really happy that I get to wear it, you know, today in this video and to work later because that's where I'm going today. Um, for my purse, I'm using this one that I got recently from Spirit Halloween. And I always have my little bag pumpkin guy attached as well as this little thrifted bunny. He always lives on all my bags. For my skirt and my bottoms, I'm wearing um, this black and white um, skirt that I showed in a DIY thrift haul. I got the corduroy skirt from the thrift store and then made all the patches that you see on it. I'll link the video in the cards if you're interested in checking that out. Um, and then under that, I'm wearing just like some ripped fishnets. And then, and then I'm wearing these, um, I'm wearing these stockings that I got from the dollar store last year. And I like that they're kind of translucent so you can see the fishnet underneath. They have all these little smiling jack-o'-lanterns all over them. And I like them a lot because they feel very, um, Halloween-y. Plus I'm going to this like big pumpkin event soon where I get to see all these like pumpkin carvings and stuff. So it's going to be really... So I'm really excited for that. So these tights are kind of in honor of that. And Lemon's joined us. Very delightful. Hello. And then for the shoes, I'm wearing these thrifted boots. Um, I don't wear heels very often, so I thought I'd switch it up a little given it's the spooky season and these feel like witch boots to me. I also paired them with these little bat wing attachments. I got these... Um, from Wish a couple years ago, um, and I really like them. They just add a little spooky layer, they flap when I walk, and you can just like stick them on whatever shoes you want. Um, yeah, like I said, I don't wear heels a lot, but these ones make me feel really cool. So let's see the whole look. This is the whole look. I really like it. I think it's super cute. So. That's the look for today. I really, really like it. Um, I think it's super cute. I'm trying to like take some pictures for the little like thumbnail thingy right now. Um, but yeah, really, really happy with it. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you in the next one. Hey, okay, so this is another outfit. Um, I think I've already worn this dress in like kind of a Halloween haul type video. But I am obsessed with it and I've been wearing it to work really often and getting lots of compliments so it's really sweet. Um, I'm also wearing it with this cardigan that I got a couple of years ago at the thrift store. And it has a patch on it that says Frequent Crier Program Lifetime Member and it has a little eagle that's crying. Um, the men's section at the thrift store is my favorite place to get cardigans and sweater because they always tend to be really, really cozy. Um, and then I have a belt that has a couple little stars on it but I have um, some skeleton hand earrings and a couple of rings. These ones are wings, little black onyx opalite. And for my necklaces, I have a string of stars, my little possum head, and my lemon and tuna tag. And the dress looks like this. 
I also have a scarf. Um, this one's just like green plaid and I found it at my university at the end of the year when people were kind of just like leaving their stuff behind and it just helps make the outfit feel really, really cozy. Um, but, so this is what the dress looks like and then I have these little um, heart-shaped garters holding up my purple stripey socks and then I have um, my Beetlejuice Sandworm socks underneath those um, as well as my um, thrifted purple velvet um, kind of shoes. I really like these shoes. Um, they make really tappy sounds when you walk around with them uh, but I found them at the thrift store and they're just like this really cool purple velvet kind of low shoe. Um, I don't wear low shoes very often. Usually I wear like boots and stuff that's higher, uh, but these are really fun and like a cool way to change it up. And it just feels really Halloween-y um, all together. So that's this outfit. So that's what we got for this outfit. Um, pretty cozy, real casual. This is the kind of thing that I'd wear to work or just like in my everyday to hang out. Um, this dress is super comfy. This cardigan's super comfy, cozy. I love autumn because it's just time to layer up and stuff. And um, yeah, that's, that's this look. <laughs> Okay, hey, so it's the same day. I did change my makeup though. Um, this dress I actually got really recently at the thrift store. I got it the other day and um, I thought it was just like a really cute dress and it was $8. Um, I got it from Valley Village. However, I found out when I got home, when I went to wash it, that um, the tag said Stranger Things. And since I haven't watched that show, I didn't realize that. And so apparently this dress is inspired by Stranger Things. Hopefully I kind of did it in a way that um, isn't that obvious that it's like from that um but i really like it it's like a cute pink pastel look that looks like really vintage i thought i'd include it in this um little lookbook sort of situation um so let's start at the top as always um i'm wearing one boyfriend the <laughs> Wearing one earring that belongs to my boyfriend it has like an ace and a spike on it the other one is a spoon that said hell that says hell's gate on it um i just found it at this thrift store that i used to volunteer at i'm wearing my leather choker from wish and this double necklace that i got a couple years ago at the thrift store it has a bird cage and like a sparrow flying out of it and then i'm wearing this um, bird skull necklace that i gave to cage a couple years ago that sometimes i wear as well um, the dress, like I mentioned, is inspired apparently by Stranger Things, but I found it at the thrift store. And I have this belt on that I got from Wish. It has like this cool little chain attachment and I really enjoy it. Um, this little purse I got pretty recently from AliExpress and I enjoy it and I think it like kind of ties together this look a little bit. Um, if it was a little colder out, I would definitely pair this with a like pullover sweater such as this one. I got this a couple years ago at this local store. Um, they do all sorts of printed t-shirts and they still do them. This one I love a lot. I didn't get it like custom printed or whatever. I just like picked it up for 10 bucks out of their um, like regular one, but they have a bunch of different of their stores all around Canada. So if it was cold out, I would probably wear it like this with um, this big old like skull and snake kind of situation and it says epic nap time and then the little like skirt pokes out and it matches my shoes. Um, and with the purse, it would be like this. And it's super cute. And I like changed my eye makeup so it's more pink now. Um, for my tights and my shoes and stuff, I have this pair of tights on that I am obsessed with and I got them when I was 18 at a costume store and I've been looking for another pair of them ever since because these are getting like a little bit destroyed. Um, but they're kind of like a black opaque tight at the bottom and then they're like fishnet at the top but then they have these three stripes and I just love them so much. I think they're super super cute. Just really cool and I think they go really well with this kind of um, little dress situation. I'm wearing um, this kind of knee garter. I think I got it on Wish a couple, like a year ago maybe, and it has all these like spikes on it. I really enjoy it. Just kind of adds a little edge to it. And for footwear, I'm wearing my pastel pink creepers. Um, I got these, um, I think sometime this year. I really, really like them. They're vegan leather. I, um, they're a little stiff. I haven't worn them in as much as I should just because I don't, ha I haven't had a chance much with the pandemic to like wear shoes out as much 
as I want to because I don't really wear these kind of things to work. I would wear them going out, but I haven't been going out. Um, so, you know, they're pretty cute. Uh, or They're really cute in my opinion. They have these little heart um, details in the center with the spikes and I just think it's really, really adorable. And then it like matches with the knee spike that I've got going on. So that's the footwear situation. So that's this look overall. Really like it, pretty casual, real comfy. This is the kind of thing I'd wear to work maybe with a couple less accessories, just because it would get kind of cumbersome. Um, but yeah, I enjoy it a lot. This dress is super, super comfy, surprisingly. In my wardrobe that I wear as everyday dresses that are Halloween costumes, I think it's up to like three or four now. But you know, I don't care if they're cute dresses, even if they're Halloween. Whatever, that goes with all clothes. Like you can get a lot of cool clothes around Halloween time and I highly, highly recommend it because there's lots of fashion that you wouldn't be able to find lots of times throughout the rest of the year. So um, in my opinion, take advantage of it. All right, um, so that was this look. Hope you liked it. On to the next one. Okay, so this is the vampire look. Um, which means I'm wearing my fangs and I might have a little bit of a lisp, so please bear with me if that is the case. Oh, I forgot my earrings once. So starting from the top, I'm wearing like my red eyeshadow and black lipstick. I have these earrings that have like a stake kind of in them. I thought that was kind of fun for like a vampire look. Um, my necklace is like a little pair of vampire fangs and it has a tag that says bite me. Um, my shirt I got at the thrift store, it says, I don't need your attitude, I have one of my own, and it just feels like something a cartoon goth would wear. I've said that before when I've worn this shirt, but I love it. Um, wearing my spiderweb lace gloves from Spirit Halloween. I love these. I could have also worn like skeleton hand gloves. I think that would have looked really cute in this as well. Um, if I was going in a place that it would be a little colder, I'd wear this jacket with it. Um, this is my boyfriend's jacket. Um, it says lurking class on it and it has a couple of patches that I embroidered for him. That one has a bug on it because I call him my bug. This one has a cat with three eyes. And this is the back of it. It just feels like kind of a cool denim jacket. And then I'm wearing a plaid skirt from the thrift store. I'm a big fan of plaid skirts. I think they make any outfit look really, really cute. And um, I have a lot of them in a lot of different colors and you can always find them at the thrift store. So yeah, I love them. Um, this belt has like all these cool, weird attachment things on it. Um, I think I got it from Hot Topic a couple of years ago. And I'm wearing uh, fishnets layered so that like all the rips show through them, but they're different sizes again. I'm wearing um, spiky, or yeah, my big old boots and my stripy socks on one leg and then these like cat socks on the other leg. So this is the footwear situation. I think it's a pretty cute, simple look. This is like a casual type of um, outfit that I would wear any day. The only thing that makes it kind of Halloween-y is the fangs, but I think that's super cute. So that's this one. Hey, so I didn't film an outro for this, um, so this is the end of part one. I think I have at least two more parts in this, maybe three, depending on how I choose to split it up, uh, but I'm trying this kind of shorter video format um, and just seeing how that goes for this outfit um, video. So I hope you liked it. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for the next one. Okay, bye for now.